Welcome back to Post Time. Recently, our first state three-year-olds battled in the $100,000 Delaware Standard Bread Breeders Fund Finals. Let's see who walked away, or rather trotted or paced away, with the winner's share. In the division for three-year-old pacing fillies, it was Badlands Jenna, who closed with a rush to score a lifetime best of 154-1 with Ben Stafford Jr. in the bike. Owned by Winback Farm and trainer Ben Stafford, this was her 13th victory in 15 career starts. The three-year-old pacing colt category saw Powerful Mist and driver Tim Tietrich win in 152 and two. The sophomore is owned by Neil Gargiulo, Louie Pagliarani, and Legacy Racing of Delaware. The pacer was super impressive as a two-year-old and the Wayne Givens trainee is looking to have another great season. Moving on to the three-year-old trotting fillies, it was Overnight Command, taking home the winner's share for Nanacoke Racing Incorporated and Jim Morand, who's also the driver. The high step in last won easily by 10 lengths for trainer Les Givens and crossed the wire first in 2.01. In the three-year-old trotting colt division, Mob Boss proved to be the best with Brett Brittingham in the sulky. The sophomore fought tough and got his picture taken with a 159 mile. The trotter's trainer is Anastasius Papadopoulos, also known as Poppy. And he's owned by retired teachers Larry and Barbara Mayer, who we caught up with in the winner circle. First of all, how did you get the horse? Because there's a story just getting the horse in the first place, right? Uh, well, we moved down here about two years ago. We were walking our dogs and, uh, and we saw these horses in the field and we left a note in the mailbox next to the house and they asked if we could give them treats and it turned out it was David Banks' horse. And uh, he called and said, sure. He said, and what you don't know is uh, I have a training facility behind the house and I'd like you to come and see it sometime. So we went. And my, I, used to, I used to ride when I was in New York, um, and my husband talked to David when I was visiting New York and asked if uh, maybe I could get behind a horse and jog. And David hooked us up with a trainer, and I started, and then he started, and then we just, we mucked stalls and cleaned hooves, and we still do every day. And, uh, and you know, we just kind of learned the business with all our friends supporting us and all the people at the barn giving us help. Okay, and then how did you end up purchasing Mob Boss? Well, uh, Mob Boss was at our facility. He was in the other barn, and I saw him trotting in the field one day, and I just thought he had a lot of spirit. And, uh, he was going up to Chick Sale, actually, and I offered the guy who owned him. Uh, I said, listen, you don't want to drive all the way up to Harrington. I'll buy the horse from you. And so we bought the horse, uh, and the story behind that is uh, Barbara's daughter was getting married and she had gotten the mother of the bride dress and I told her I wanted to buy the horse and she asked me how much it was and I told her and she said, well, that's less than the dress I'm buying, so why don't you get the horse? <laughs> oh, I remember how much wedding dresses cost, so, oh, wow, oh, that's so great. Okay, so tell me about Mob Boss and you work with him every day. Are you still, you know, every day you're with him? We, every day. We vowed when, when we got River Princess, who was our first horse, that we would be hands-on owners, and that means we're at the barn every morning. We jog, I jog him. Uh, Pappy, of course, gives me my instructions in terms of how fast and how many miles. And uh, we bathe him and we muck his stall. We take care of his feeding. We go back every afternoon and do what, do what Barbara calls the Manny Petty. Uh, we do his hooves and you know groom him. And uh, we're we're very hands-on, but. He's a very loving and playful horse. He'll hear Barbara's voice when we go to the barn and he'll start whinnying. When he wants to eat, he'll let you know. But once he gets on the track, 
He's all business, and he loves what he does. He, loves what he, he does. really, really loves to race. To compete, he does. Well, um, let's end this. I think there's some tears coming out of your eyes, so we'll wrap it up. But I do want to know, just quickly, you've got an entire mob here tonight, so this is a big fan club for him. Friends, friends, neighbors, friends neighbors, people from the barn, uh, even you know trainers of other horses. Cliff Green's here supporting us, HR Banks. Lots of guys back at the stable. Dickie Lewis, I know he's rooting for us. Uh, and they've all been tremendously helpful. So uh, yeah, it's Mob Boss's Mob, and Poppy, of course, is Mob Boss's Boss. That's right. Well, I'll be looking for my t-shirt any day now. <laughs> no but... <laughs> problem, Heather. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. The 2011 Harrington Raceway Spring Meet is now underway. Tonight there is no live racing. Happy Easter and enjoy the holiday. However, there is exciting harness action happening at the half mile this week from Monday through Thursday. The post time's at 5.30 p.m. Have a wonderful week, happy Easter, and God bless. You cannot escape the post time camera, can you? <laughs> and look at all this work you're doing. How about you? Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> That's right. Somebody's got to do it. And might as well be a man who knows what he's doing, right? <laughs>